Hi, my name is Karthik. I am a web developer and the founder of WPAlgorithm.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to achieve the text underline effect in Elementor, which is quite common these days in many websites. It's the simple CSS effect. And if you're looking for a complete CSS course, you can check out my Udemy custom CSS course. Link to that will be in the description. And let's get into the tutorial. So basically all you need to do is to copy the first part code snippet from the link in the description. It's this HTML text which says text. And then if you look closely in the content itself, there are two span HTML tags, the starting angular brace span class. And I just gave it a class name of DA hyphen cool stuff. You can just rename this DA hyphen cool stuff with anything, right? And then you have text. And then you have the closing span tag. Now at the end of this, you can add any text, right? And before the opening span tag, you can add any text. And finally, you can change this text to anything. And notice as I type the text, the underline effect is automatically adjusted so you don't have to do anything so that's the first part of this tutorial the first thing is you'll copy the code snippet add some text before the opening span tag and add some text after the span tag and change the word text itself to anything else right and this applies to all the widgets it can be a heading widget it can be a text editor widget it can be an icon box widget right it's the same thing you can see i just have the same code in here. I just added some text before the opening span tag. And after that, I can add anything here, right? And I can change this heading to anything else or the middle text to anything else. And finally, the CSS responsible for that, I'll also leave that in the description. You can copy it from here. So basically what we're essentially doing here is that we're targeting that class, which is DA hyphen cool stuff. And we're adding a background gradient and we're setting some background properties to that so that it looks like an underline, but essentially it's a box, right? So we're setting some properties in here. You don't have to necessarily change any of these, but if you want, you can change the linear gradient. You can add any colors in here. You can add red and blue, right? You can also change the angle DEG stands for degrees. So you can change it to 90 degrees. You can change this to red and something like that. So that has that needle effect, right? But don't touch the other background properties. Just leave them as is and you're good to go, right? So essentially the background element, when I hover over this, we are increasing its size. And we're applying a grayscale filter to the text. So we have this cool little effect and I can actually apply it to any widget. So if I drag in anything with text, you can just maybe let's say a price list widget. If you want to apply it to this, just copy the base HTML, which is this, the whole span. Sorry about that. You just need to copy the text in between and with the span tags. So starting from here and the ending span tag, the snippet, copy it, have this icon list widget, we'll just copy and just paste the HTML there. And just like that, you can see that underline effect and thing in action. And of course you can change this text to anything you want. And it's just as simple as that. The only way it differs is that in your text editor widget, I'll just drag in a text editor widget. And this is of course for Elementor. So let's say you just want to apply that span property to this. You can't do that in visual format. Click on text and add to span tags or just copy the snippet in here. I'll just replace this inside the text area and just like that you can see the underline effect in text editor widget. All that you need to do only in text editor widget, you just need to change it from visual to text while doing this span tag editing. But in other widgets, you can simply paste it as is. 
and also paste the CSS that I'll share with you in the description. So just copy and paste this. I pasted it into this widget, but you can actually take this CSS, click on the hamburger menu, click on site settings, click on custom CSS and paste it down here. So it should be just fine. That's it, right? So just paste it in the custom CSS area of your site settings and just copy the span tag and the text and change text to anything else. You can paste it between anything and the effect is automatically applied. It's a cool little technique. And if you don't want this animation, you can remove the second snippet. So now there's no hover animation. If you want, you can remove the hover animation by removing the second snippet of code. But if you want, you can just keep it. So that is the elementary text underline effect in action. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn more tutorials like this, head over to Elementor Tutorial for Beginners playlist on this channel. And if you're new on this channel, subscribe so that you won't miss out on any new Elementor and WordPress updates. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.